Okay, so we're going to find the third force that would, that would cancel these forces out, right? I'm going to call that force A and that force B. And all we're going to do is we're going to add A to B um, and then find the sum. Negative the sum. If you add negative the sum to the sum, you'll get zero. Okay, so that this is the trick, right? I always set up a little table like this. So I'm going to go A and B, and I want to find the... Um, here we go. I'm going to find the magnitude. Well, I'm going to write down the magnitude. I'm going to write the angle. Then I'm going to find the x component and the y component, right? Okay. I just love that. I wish I could do that on my PC. Okay. Angel. I just wrote angel. I didn't mean to write angel. Angle. <laughs> angle. <laughs> <laughs> you can find the angel too. Okay, so let's see. None of these guys are trig angles here. So the magnitude of A is 4.8. Magnitude of B is 3.6, right? Uh, this angle here, I think that's 180 minus 48, isn't it? That's 132. Okay. And then this guy, I think it's uh, this is uh, 180 plus 42, right? Let's do that, 180 plus 42, 222. I used to live at 222 Rutgers Avenue in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Okay, here we go. Sometimes when I'm bored, I embed significant numbers in problems. I don't know if I did that on purpose. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. This is mag, mag, cos theta. This will be mag, sine theta. Okay, so I'm going to go 4.8 cos 132. I'm going to store that in A just for fun. Negative 3.212. Okay, and that's Newton's in the x direction. I'm going to go 4.8 sine 132. Store that in B. And this is 3.567. Now let's just pause a moment to think about this, right? This component to the left, this guy here, okay, and then we figured out this guy here. Okay, that's a 48 degree angle. It doesn't look like it actually looks smaller than 48, but if it's 48 degrees, we expect the y to be positive. Uh, we expect it to be bigger than the x, right? And it is positive and it is bigger than the x just slightly, and that's because it's slightly bigger than 48 degrees. So those look good. So let's just double check this guy. Let's do this. So. Uh, 3.6 uh, cos 222. Store that in F. I'm setting up a spreadsheet with my letters on the calculator. F is right below my um, my A. It isn't on your calculator, but it is on mine. So negative two, negative 2.675. Uh, okay. And then let's see. Uh, I'm going to do this times sine of this, right? So 3.6 sine of 222. I'm going to store that in G. Okay, F and G. So that is negative 2.409. Okay, so now we're all set. We've got the X and the Y components. Uh, the next step is to find uh, A. Let's find A plus B. All right, so we'll add this to this. So that guy plus this guy, right? Okay, there we go. It is negative 5.887. Okay. And then that's, that is actually Newton's in the x direction is the sum, right? And then I'm going to go this guy plus this guy. Okay, so alpha B plus alpha G store that guy in the letter below that which happens to be L for mine. I keep forgetting not to go. There we go. And this is 1.158. And that's positive and it's Newton's in the in the y direction. Okay? Now, this is the sum of those two vectors, right? If I add negative the sum, that will be the equilibrium, right? So that's the trick here, right? 
So the, the negative sum is positive 5.887 plus negative 1.158 newtons in the y direction, right? Okay, so let's draw that guy here. 5.887 to the x in the x direction, right? Right, and then negative 1 point, right? Now we can just draw that guy right there. Okay, so the magnitude of that is 5.887 squared, 1.158 squared. Don't put the minus sign in there. If you do put the minus sign in there, make sure on your TI calculators that you do the parentheses like that. Because otherwise, for some reason, it does unary minus has like precedence over squaring, which makes no sense. Okay, so let's see. Uh, that guy squared plus this guy squared. And I'm going to raise that. Ooh, this is awesome. A six. How could that be? I must have picked the numbers. It's 6.00. It comes out dead even to six, right? Um, wow. Really? Okay. Uh, six newtons. I was thinking, wow, you don't see that very often. Okay, so six newtons, I get the, 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 the um, that's this magnitude here, six newtons. Okay, and then let's find this angle here just for fun. Uh, the opposite side is here, the adjacent side is there, so I'm going to use Socatello, right? Um, that theta right there is tan minus one of 1.158 over uh, 5.887. And I just put the absolute value in there because I'm not clever enough to know what happens if you put the negatives in there. Okay, so let's go this guy divided by this guy. I think you just get negative is what you get. Okay. And I'm getting 11.13 degrees. Now, if you just labeled this 11 degrees and this 6 newtons, uh, we, we'd be all set. Okay, here there's a trig angle, and we're, you know, we're, we're challenged to find what that trig angle is. Of course, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, this thing here is 360 minus that little angle there, right? So 360 minus 11.13. Okay, so plus 360. 348.9. Okay, now if you write this, if you can figure out that this hypotenuse is 6 and you label that 6 and you draw this correct thing over a lot, down a little bit, and you label that angle as 11 degrees, I am just super happy that's good enough for me. Okay, you don't have to find the trig angle, we're just putting that on there because that way I can see whether you drew the picture correctly. You can't get the trig angle right uh, unless you draw the picture correctly, unless you make two mistakes.